Hey guys, Riley from High String Lacrosse here, and um, today we're going to be having a really, really long video. So, what this video is going to uh, entail is everything String King related. I'm going to try to tell you guys everything that I, well, not every, as much as I can about uh, String King Lacrosse and their products. So I'll be talking about um, not only String King, their 1S and 1X, as well as the original. I will also be covering the... Uh, the mesh that they make for uh, for Epic, so that's Outer Mesh. I'll be covering that as well uh, throughout the entire video, and I really hope to, um, I guess, persuade you guys to get some of that as well as String King. I just want to let you guys know everything that I know about String King and uh, get you guys to start using what I consider and many um, consider anyone really who's picked it up consider the best mesh on the market. So, what exactly is String King uh, Lacrosse Mesh? Shrinking lacrosse mesh is a performance mesh that is not waxed, um, non-nylon, so it's, it's not uh, made out of the same material that average mesh is made out of, um, actually waterproof uh, performance mesh. So what that means is uh, this mesh does not use the average material that, uh, wax, mesh is, <laughs> that wax mesh is used. Anyway, um, it's waterproof. So the materials that they use are non-nylon, so that means that they're hydrophobic. They will not absorb water in any way, as opposed to wax meshes. So wax meshes use a material that is actually, um, it absorbs water. So the problem with wax meshes uh, that say that they're waterproof um, is that they're not actually waterproof. They're lying. They're, uh, it's, I mean, you could say lying. They're false advertising falsely advertising. Um, it bothers me that uh, East Coast Mesh says that their mesh is waterproof because it's not. We've established this. People use it all the time. It loses its coating. Therefore, it becomes just, it absorbs water. It's as simple as that. But um, it bothers me that they say stuff like that and they advertise that it's waterproof and everyone hypes that it's waterproof. Um, that's, I could rant forever about that. It's just people need to start actually thinking for themselves and not just listening to what the companies tell them. Um, they need to listen to what the other people say and how, for example, people will say, hey, um, your mesh isn't working. It's not actually waterproof. It's falling apart on me, and it's just not doing what you said it would. That's just something that I think that uh, wax mesh companies need to figure out. So don't advertise if you make a, wa if you make a wax mesh. Don't advertise that it's waterproof. It's water resistant. Throne does the right thing. Uh, Joe says that it's water resistant. He advertises it as water resistant rather than waterproof, and I applaud him for that. He's much more uh, truthful than other companies. But anyway, back to shrinking. So uh, shrinking performance mesh is waterproof. It's extremely consistent. The uh, diamonds are exactly the same every single time you make them. So or every time they make them, or there there's like a one percent variation or something. But anyway. You could get four heads, um, heck, you could get a hundred Salakota U's, and I could string them up exactly the same the whole way through. The only difference would be me, my user error. That mesh is going to be exactly the same. I could get at least, well, I would imagine, considering I think I have my Lakota U pattern on lock, um, I would be able to make it so that every single one of those Lakota U's would throw exactly the same. You could go, I could get a hundred shafts, put them all on them, you could throw them, they'd throw all exactly the same, provided that I didn't do something incorrectly. Which is one of the most impressive things about String King, which is why if you have a gamer and a backup, and they are the exact same stick in every single way, with the stringing and everything, you're going to be able to use both of them, uh, just switching them off without any sort of problem with whip or hold or any of that. Which I think is very important, um, and I really, really like. Which is why, actually, I used to because I'll be doing a weapon, cho a weapon of choice uh, video soon. I used to use the same exact head, uh, Nike Lakota U, but as you guys might know from Instagram, I have a uh, new head in the works. Just trying to get it all down before I uh, fully say that it's my new gamer. You guys will see that in the future. Anyway, so um, I'm trying to think of what I should explain. I could talk about String King forever. Actually, I'm going to put on uh, my String King hat that I was given by the guys over at String King in my uh, latest uh, package. Um, yeah, so they sent this to me. I never had actually gotten one of their hats, and I really wanted one, so they sent me a uh, Carolina one. 
as well as a red one, but my uh, little brother stole that. But they sent me a Carolina one, which I love, and um, I thought it would be a good time to wear it. I actually generally don't wear hats, but um, I figured this would be a good time to wear one. So yeah, I also don't wear them forward, I wear them backwards, that's just me. Anyway, um, so yeah, let's talk about the four meshes. So there are four, techn technically three, but there are four meshes um, that are made by stringing. Technically two, if you don't include otter, but they made otter, for I think. But anyway, I'm just going to talk to you about each of them. So I'm going to start with the original. Uh, what started it all. So this is original string king. Um, I got I managed to get my hands on uh, three pieces of it. It is the original string king. This is what they first made. Uh, while you might be saying, oh wait, but that's 1x. No, it. I mean, it's the same mesh, same weave and everything, but um, what makes it different is the resin that they, uh, they put into... I think that's the right way of putting it. They put into the mesh. So what they what I mean when they say they put it into the mesh, um, they infuse the mesh with resin to make it have its harder, soft qualities and have it keep its shape. It's not what makes it waterproof. Before you guys start freaking out about like, oh, it's coated, it's wax. It's not wax. It's not coated. It's a resin. So what this resin does is affects its uh its hardness pretty much. I think there are a few other things, but I'm not the one that makes the mesh, nor do I. Understand. I mean, I probably could under. I'm not the one that uh, deals with that. But anyway, um, so original string king, 17.5 uh, millimeter. It is pretty much the grandfather. It's the predecessor to uh, the new meshes. It's a little bit harder than 1x. So I would say it's somewhere like a. I'm trying to think of a good way. Of, because they, um, String King says that their performance, the other meshes, they give numbers to them. I'd say this is probably a 6 or a 7 when you first get it, and it would probably break in to be about a 5 um, in hardness. Um, it will hold its shape very well. It's waterproof. Um, it's very consistent. Uh, and it's a hard mesh. It's a semi-hard, kind of, I would argue. It feels like a semi-hard, at least. And I'd imagine it performs like one once it uh, fully breaks in. But um, yeah, that's original String King. It's my favorite, I would say. I like 1x, that's what I currently use. But um, original String King is something I think is really special to me. And um, actually, if I could only use original String King, I would be fine with that. And I actually want to get my hands on a few more pieces. So I might be asking the guys if they have any left, because I want to get some. In. Um, I, have, I have two other pieces, but yeah, I just wanted to talk about a little, a little bit about um, my favorite of the pack. Because I actually, um, this is where I started. I started by using uh, original, and that's what got me to where I am today. So yeah, I actually have to thank the guys at Stringking, because without them, I wouldn't have been able to make it to where I am now. Anyway, so original Stringking, uh, it was made, it started in 2011, and it was there when they uh, started the company. And it's, they switched over to 1X and 1S. 1S. Um, so then... Oh, also, I'm going in order of hardness, just to let you guys know. Um, <laughs> that's actually how I'm going down the line. So next up is uh, Shrinking Type 1X Performance Mesh. Shrinking Type 1X Performance Mesh is a, um, I believe, yeah, it's a 5 out of 10, hardness-wise. Um, and here are some bullet points of how they advertise the mesh. So it's a semi-hard construction, which means it's a semi-hard mesh. Uh, the hardness is 5 out of 10. It is... Uh, it has better accuracy and consistency, which is a big point for me, the reason that I like it so much. And it also has more shape retention. So what that means is that the pocket's going to be very, um, like def I wouldn't say it's defined, because you could manipulate that with your stringing, but it's going to hold its shape. The pocket's really going to hold to the way that you want it to. So for example, um, with this M80X of mine, strung with stringing Type 1X, um, it's going to hold its shape, the pocket, it's not going to want to change too much. I mean, I'm not saying it's not going to be shifty or anything, because it can be, but it's going to hold its shape, it's going to stay the way it is, because it's hard mesh, semi-hard, but um, it's going to want to stay the way it is, and I like that because it gets the ball there and it's going to stay there. It wants to stay there, it doesn't want to shift around too much. Um, you can kind of feel it when it breaks in, that's actually another thing I need to mention, but, um, but yeah, so I like shrinking 1x. 
as that's what I use on my gamers, and that's what I recommend to everyone. Even though I know most pro players use One uh, S, but um, and also the guys at String King prefer One S, but I like One X because it just kind of I don't know it appeals to me. So yeah, so One X is uh, also seventeen point five. All of the meshes are seventeen point five millimeter, um, which means that the diamond size is seventeen point five. For anyone who doesn't know that, um, I'm sorry. By the way, just a pause. Um, if any of this is overwhelming, I didn't really have a sort of like order set up for how I was going to go down the line talking about these meshes. I just thought I would throw a bunch of knowledge out at you guys and see if you can uh, catch it, I guess. I don't really know how to put it. Catch. But anyway, um, so yeah, 1x is uh, 5 out of 10 hardness wise. Um, it's more accurate, it's more consistent. It's what uh, I prefer, it's what um, mainly mesh prefers. Chris and I, we've had a conversation about it. We just prefer it over the other meshes. It's just how it is. We, um, I wouldn't say, like, they advertise that the mesh doesn't really um, stretch that much and change over time, which it doesn't. It's going to be very consistent from day one to day 1,000 if you really are able to use it for that long. But um, that's, our, that's another thing I need to talk about. So, Shrinking 1X, uh, it starts off semi-hard at, like, a 5, and then it's going to go to about, I mean, they say it's going to go to mainly a 5, but I would say it's somewhere in between like a 4 or so, because when you really use it a lot, it becomes nice and soft, and I just really like It's not really soft. It becomes nice and uh, broken in, and it really just caters to my uh, taste mesh-wise. Anyway, um, but yeah, I really like 1X. I would suggest this. I would suggest that you try out both a piece of 1X and 1S, and decide which of the two you like. They are uh, twenty dollars on their website. I would not suggest asking them for free stuff. They're very nice guys. Don't try to manipulate them. Um, that's another video. I don't want to go off on a rant about um, people asking for free stuff, but just go uh, buy a piece of their mesh. Try it out. If you like it, then um, good. I hope that you become a lifelong uh, customer like I plan to be. It's great stuff. Um, but yeah, so 1X ends up breaking in to just have this amazing feel, and I highly suggest that you uh, just try it. Just give it a uh, go, use it for a little bit. If you don't like it, maybe adjust the pocket. Make sure that you get a nice pocket in it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to suggest that to everyone, even though 1S is uh, the preferred one. But yeah, so moving on from 1X, um, next we have 1S. So string, or no, we have otter. We're going to go to otter because that's the next hardness wise. So otter mesh. Otter mesh is a, um, it's a different material. I don't know if it has the, I don't actually know as much about otter. I'm not really too well versed when it comes to uh, otter. It's, I'm just going to talk about the uh, few things that I do know about it. So what I know is that otter is a, um, it's in between 1S and 1X, hardness wise. It's advertised as a 3 out of 10. So I guess I would say, yeah, it's a semi soft. It is half the weight of average mesh, which makes your sticks ridiculously light. It's a 17.5 uh, millimeter mesh, I believe. Yeah, it's, so it's made out of military grade materials. It's extremely durable. And it's, um, yeah. It's, it's solid stuff. It's a little expensive, coming in at uh, $40, but it is definitely great stuff, and um, you should definitely try it out because it's going to make your stick crazy light. I used to have this issue with it. Um, I strung up one of my Lakota U's with it and used it a little bit during uh, the season. I had issues with a uh, rebound, but um, yeah, that actually stopped. I actually recently strung up one of my sticks with it, and... Um, the ball wasn't bouncing out, so I'm not sure if it was because I was wearing gloves when I was using it, on top of it being winter and me being freezing, or it wasn't winter, it was spring, but it was like the cold part of spring, so like my hands were really cold, I was worried about catching because I was on my, like in front of my teammates because of just being on a higher level team than I was used to, actually the highest level, but anyway, I was really worried about all that, so I think that's the reason that the ball kept bouncing out, but anyway, um, Using it today, I had no problem with it. I was able to catch, throw very well. Um, wasn't a problem at all. So disregard anything about me saying there was a rebound issue. Otter Master is very solid stuff, and I highly suggest that you uh, check a piece out if you can. It's definitely worth the price tag, I would say. Um, I, I'd imagine it might lower, but 
when you're using the materials that go into this and with the qualities that come from it, I highly suggest that you're really going to be able to feel the ball um, in your stick and you'll know when you have it. So yeah, um, that's essentially all I know about outer mesh. It's not really my, uh, my like, I'm not very well versed when it comes to it. Um, I actually have, uh, actually, yeah, so I have an Evo Pro X6 and a Revo Pro X6 strung up with it. Um, just to have a piece on the wall. Um, so this is the Evo Pro X6. The Revo Pro X6 is actually right next to the two empty uh, spots. Strung exactly the same. Uh, the mesh, actually, all the meshes will string up exactly. Sorry. Uh, it will string up exactly the same and um, perform very similarly. So if you were to get, like, uh, three Evo Pro X6s, which I, at one point I actually did this, I, and put Otter 1S and 1X in them, they would all be very similar except for you'd have the qualities of each mesh playing in. So they're, go they're going to perform very similarly. Um, I'm sorry that this is so, like, scattered. It's just how it is. I would have put more time into this, but, it, I mean, you guys like videos. So I'm just going to put this out here. Also, I have my uh, STX Shield. With 19 diamond, yes, you did hear me correctly. It is 19 diamond, 19 diamond uh, otter goalie mesh. So um, I was sent this by my man uh, Jeff. Actually, I think was it Jeff? Yeah, Jeff sent this to me uh, to string up in a goalie stick and tell him what I uh, think of it. I really, really like 19 diamond uh, otter goalie mesh. This is actually I know that people or goalies uh, complain about the shield being a little heavy. Or at least I think they do. Um, the Otter makes it actually very manageable, I would imagine. And, um, I don't know, goalie strings aren't really my uh, strong point either, so I was just lucky to get a piece to uh, string up. So, this is the second goalie stick I've ever done. It has a little bit of whip. I know you might not believe that, but if you look, the ball's going to get caught right there and then fly out. There. going to get caught right there and then fly out. So it has a little bit of whip, but... um. No rebound issues, none of that. It's uh, solid, actually. I really, really like uh, the 19 Diamond Otter goalie mesh. And when it comes out, you should definitely uh, try a piece if you're a goalie, depending on the price. <laughs> but yeah, um, sorry about the Otter goalie mesh and everything. I'm just not really, I don't know. I'm not an Otter-oriented guy. I'm more 1X, as you guys know. Anyway, on to the next piece. So, String King Type 1S. Uh, this is the softest uh, of the meshes. It is semi-soft. Um, it's meant to give you an extreme feel on the ball. You can really feel when the ball's in your stick. Um, it's a 2 out of 10, harness-wise. Um, you'll have better feel and control of the ball. I wouldn't necessarily agree with the control part, but of course I'm not the one making the product, so I guess I shouldn't be the one uh, arguing that point. I feel like 1X, with, when you get a nice channel on it, you're able to really get the hold that you need and you have better control of the ball. That's just me. That's because of my stringing and the way that I go about doing things. It might be different for other people. Keep that in mind. This is an opinion video as well as mixed in with the facts of what the meshes are. Okay. So um, there's more pocket versatility. So say you were to put a mid pocket, you can make it function as a high and a low and it would really just be able to perform in every single manner that you need it to on the field. That's one of the benefits of uh, Strinking Type 1S, or at least as advertised. So what that means is for players like uh, Rob Pinnell, they'll be able to go and do all their stuff without um, having any problem because their pocket's going to be able to manage to do everything that they need it to. So that's the uh, versatility of the pocket. I really, um, in the long run, I think that 1X is better than 1S because when 1X breaks in fully, it has the qualities of 1S as well as the consistency, pocket retention, um, and all that of 1X. So that's one of the reasons that I like 1X the most. But 1S, um, it over time, actually I got a piece a few days ago because I had strung up a head for a friend and they decided that they needed me to restring it. Actually, they didn't decide. that I was doing a restringing for them and so it was the pocket that I uh, had put 1X, 1S in. And the mesh is just extremely soft now. I'd give it a 1 out of 10. It just became so soft that I would, I mean, just personally, I'm not a big fan of one, uh, one S because of how soft it becomes. It's just me. But um, if you're a FOGO, definitely 
definitely try 1S. It is great stuff with the 17.5 millimeter diamonds, as well as the just extreme softness that uh, comes with it. You will have an extremely uh, quality face-off pocket. The ball will not get caught. Um, it'll off the face-off when you pop it back into your stick. It will sit right back where it is, where it, uh, you want it to be. You'll be able to do everything that you need to right off the face. So I really, really do suggest 1S. Um, definitely try it out if you're a FOGO or if you really like feeling the ball uh, otter lets you feel the ball well as well um, and then 1x uh, is I mean you get a feel on the ball still so don't really worry about that but yeah um, here I'll show you the head that I the head that I had as my example for uh, 1s this is actually one of the only 1s pockets that I have um, that I actually like personal head wise so this is my uh, pinched clutch lead X. I will actually be doing a video on this as well as my Evo um, 4X because they're both pinched. Um, so I'll be talking about uh, how I went about pinching them, what I do after I pinch them, and stuff like that if you guys want. So uh, be sure to comment below if you're interested in that. Um, but yeah, so this is uh, the clutch lead X. It has a, as they say, it really performs wherever you need it to. I'll be able to feel the ball really well when it's in there. And um, yeah, it's gonna be soft, which is cool. I don't know; it's just it's not my preference, but I'll I'll definitely use it some. And then uh, back to the One X, which I like. I think just One X when it breaks in, it just has this great feel to it. Anyway, so that's um, that's just kind of me talking, rambling, sort of about uh, the four different mess. Oh yeah, well I don't have any heads strung up with uh, OGSK. Yeah, but I plan to restring that. Uh, Nike Lakota U on the wall, and um, with OGSK, just to have it like my favorite head with my favorite mesh, or just the original mesh where I started. I think it'd be a cool little thing to put on the wall. I actually would do a video on that and talk to you guys just about what what I like about the Nike Lakota U and stuff, if you guys want. Actually, speaking of Nike Lakota U, I ended up uh, not to be copying Greg, because I know that today is actually when he retired the um, his Lakotas to go to a new head, probably the Optic. But um, I retired my first Nike Lakota U today. I decided that I, it was time for me to put a different head on, because I used it in a tournament, and the head was just warped. It was uh, flexible. It just wasn't performing for me in the way that I needed it to, as well as um, the mesh was getting just getting old and I decided that I might as well just throw something uh, new together. So yeah, it's on my uh, wall right next to my bed. I'm going to start a little, it's not a graveyard because the heads aren't broken in any way, but I'm going to be starting a, um, just like a place where I put all the heads that I've used and retired. So I get a retirement home? I don't know. I don't think that we call it that. I know that the graveyard's a thing, but not the retirement home. I don't know. It's just my wall of used heads or heads that I've used in games, uh, old gamers, how about that, anyway, so that's pretty much all I have to say about those, uh, about the meshes and some of the plans for the future, so now is the part um, where I'm going to answer all your questions, because I, I posted a picture on Instagram uh, a few days ago, actually I don't, about a week ago actually, um, about just a picture of like all my a bunch of the heads and mesh and stuff, and I just said, just ask questions about String King and I'll uh, answer them. So this is going to be the part uh, where I answer almost 80 questions, or it might be eight. people commented other stuff, so there's going to be a lot of questions, so just uh, sit tight. I'm not going to say your usernames, I'm just going to go through, answer the questions. Uh, yeah, that's. I don't really have anything else to say about that, so here we go. First question. Uh, I have my phone. So first question, what is mesh? Um, this is actually for one of my friends at uh, school. Mesh is um, life, that's what it is. I don't really have anything else to say. You are a philosopher, my friend. Um, on a scale of one to 10, how much swag does Shrinking have? I would say Shrinking right now has an eight. I think they need to come out with, well, I mean, are you talking about the mesh or the company? The, the mesh is amazing. I love the uh, different options. I love that it's actually consistent and it's waterproof, holds its shape well, it's consistent. I think I already said that. It's just amazing. I just love uh, Stringking, but I give them an 8 company-wise. Actually, you no, know, I give them a 9 company-wise because they're the nicest guys I've ever met. But they need to come out with t-shirts because I need to wear a t-shirt from them. 
so get on that guys um uh will i get the same pocket using three different meshes i think i mentioned this earlier um you should if you are able to string every single stick exactly the same you will be able to get the same exact pocket except for it will have the qualities of each mesh so with one axe it would be a more uh it would be more accurate to hold its shape more uh just all of that Oh yeah, also, one thing about 1X, um, it has a smoother release when you string it correctly, which is one of the things that I like for my uh, pockets as an LSM. I just like to have a smooth release. It has, I mean, I use a little bit of whip. But I like a smooth release. I like the pocket to hold its shape, and I like um, the accuracy. So that's really important to me. Anyway, um, you will be able to get very similar um, pockets. Yeah, you should be able to get the same pocket, it will just have the qualities of the other mesh. Alright, um, what's the difference between all three? I just talked about three, uh, Otter, 1S, and 1X, as well as OG. Um, I talked about all of them, so I think I covered that. Um, which one do I like the best? I like 1X um, and OG, just kind of depending on um, how stiff I want the mesh. I like 1X a lot when it breaks in. When it gets to the point where it's broken in so much, I love it. It's amazing. Um, and how does it compare to ECM? So ECM is not actually waterproof, so shrinking wins in that department. It is 2.5 millimeter more than uh, ECM, which means that the pocket's going to be nicer. It's going to have more hold because of the larger diamond size. And um, it's just a better mesh, and the company's uh, just, it's a nicer group of guys. It's, what is it? It's like $5 more? That's... Like, shrinking is only $5 more, but you also get the customer service, the lifetime just satisfaction of having such a quality mesh. It's going to last for so long. It's going to be waterproof forever. It's going to be consistent. It's just an overall, I mean, what's the reason to not use shrinking? I would love to actually, you know what, comment that, and I will come. I will get to every single person, or at least try to, that has a reason for not getting shrinking, and um, I'll explain why I think that they should still get it. Just go ahead and do that. Um, so yeah, that answers all that. It, ECM, I can't compare to Shrinking, I would say. Shrinking is just overall a better product. Uh, which one gets dirtiest the fastest? Um, I'd imagine they all get dirty at a similar pace. Um, they're not wax, so they're not going to get all dirty like that, because that's within like one, what, one minute of use. <laughs> they're not going to get crazy dirty, because wax is just... I don't like wax meshes, if you can't tell. Um, oh, how did I forget this? Shrinking is going to perform the same um, on day one to day 100. Covered that. Uh, in the weather. So since it's waterproof, it's going to throw very, very similarly. The only difference will be like if there's water on the outside of the pocket, it will decrease friction. or Not friction. The ball will slide on it easier because of the water and everything. But other than that, it's going to be extremely... It's the mesh itself will not be affected by it. Just the outside will be wet, which cause it to slide. Um, also, when it's hot out, wax meshes tend to lose their coating and stuff, which is a big issue. I know that. Um, meanwhile, string is going to be exactly the same. Um, and then also, when it's cold, wax meshes become hard. String is going to be exactly the same. So keep that in mind. Um, which mesh is my favorite out of the three? Uh, so I'm going to say once again, 1X and OG are my favorites because they're very similar. There's just a little... I Actually, I don't even remember how OG breaks in, so for all I know, I like OG the most. But um, 1X out of the three. Um, my personal preference, I just said that. Um, on their website, you can only buy with a string kit. Is that right? Um, no, you can buy the mesh alone. Uh, it's twenty dollars alone. I think it's thirty. Don't here. Let me check. Um, I think it's thirty alone, or thirty, not alone. It's twenty alone, thirty with a kit. I believe. Don't quote me on that. Um, is drinking worth how much it costs? It's, yes, with all the things that come along with it, the nice guys, uh, the customer service, the extreme uh, consistency, the quality of the mesh itself. It's just overall, it's the best. Uh, what makes it different from other meshes? It's actually waterproof. It um, I've talked about all this. If you don't, it's different from mesh, other meshes because it's in a league of its own. It's just a, an overall superior product. 
Um, what's your favorite of the three? One X. Um, how does it compare to ECM twenty millimeter? Well, it depends which mesh you're talking about. Uh, String King One S is going to be similar to twenty millimeter ECM in the fact that it is seventeen point five millimeter, so it's going to be extremely soft, but it's also going to actually be waterproof and it's going to last a lot longer. Um, which would be better for a player who wants hold accuracy and some zip when you pass and shoot? That ends up being the stringing. Uh, you could get that with any of the meshes. You guys need to figure that out. Um, you can get extreme hold with any mesh and accuracy with a nice channel. But 1x, uh, for me, does that the most. Um, crap. Yeah, so all the meshes can do that. It just really comes up to the feel and uh, if you like a harder or softer mesh. Um, is the outer mesh also 17.5 like the two String King meshes? Yes, it is. Um, what's the difference between String King shooters and regular shooters? Um, String King shooters are cloth. They um, You can just get them in nice colors and they're cloth. That's I don't really have anything to really say about that. Um, what is uh, your best pattern for supper powers? Nice spelling. Um, and protons, I don't give out patterns. Um, and why would I answer that in a mesh video? What are you doing? Um, would you be able to DM me a ball drop with 1S? I actually uh, prepared for this. So I have my Revo Pro X6, or one of them, I have three. Um, I have a Revo Pro X6. I'm going to hold it at the bottom of the screen. I have a ball. So I'm going to hold it up here. I'm probably going to miss, just letting you guys know that right now. And it falls all the way in. No problem. Really, really nice. Uh, this is slightly used. I think I went and I shot around with it for like 15 minutes a few uh, weeks ago. But it's going to fall without a problem. That hit the sidewall. Yeah, the mesh just falls in. No problem. Great for uh, face-offs. So on to the next question. Um, will you ever kick me back again? This guy didn't realize that it was supposed to be about mesh. Um, I did kick him back. So don't worry about that. Uh, what would be better for a Fogo, one S or one X? I would say one S. Um, but if you're a Fogo, you could also use broken in one X if the head's wide enough, or if you really break it in before you start using it for face-offs. Actually, I've had to take a few fit. Yeah, I've had to take a few face-offs, and uh, my broken in one X was able to uh, perform correctly. Um, I was just wondering how soft outer mesh is. I addressed that it is a little bit harder. It's a little bit softer than one X, just slightly harder than one uh, S. Um, is soft mesh good for midis? Um, I mean, that depends on the player. That's not really up to a position. Um, and does soft mesh add whip if it's depending on how it's strung? Yes. Um, what do you think of String King's mesh ripping more frequently than other companies? It upsets me that it rips more frequently than other companies, but at the same time, they'll replace it for you. And they th um, they're just they're nice guys. They'll replace it for you, no problem. And um, as long as you use the soft bottom string, it shouldn't happen. So, also that helps you with uh, softer when soft or hands when you're caching and stuff. If you use a soft bottom string, because it kind of gives with it a little bit. I really actually like a soft bottom string, but um, you should use that, everyone, so that your mesh doesn't rip because it won't rip otherwise, or it shouldn't. Um, what is the main difference, and which do you like better? The main difference is how hard they are. Um, and how can, they're all consistent. Um, how hard they are, yeah, that's the, that's the main difference, how hard they are. Um, and which do I like better? I like 1X. Um, about the String King 1X Nas pattern, does the ball hit the nylon? I think he's talking about the mainly mesh pattern. Um, I actually have a knot thrown with that stick. I've not even put a screw into the, uh, into the head itself, nor have I done that on the Sally and you, the Revo Pro X6. Or the the Nas, I just they're wall hangers. Um, I would imagine it does mainly knows what he's or Chris knows what he's doing. Um, if he has the nylon there, it's for a reason. Um, 
which is best for a close deep hole that comes up to preference if you like soft if you like feeling the ball go with 1s if you like um, I don't, it depends on the player honestly don't ask about position ask about player um, how epic is otter mesh it's very epic you should definitely try a piece um, I tried many different patterns and shooter setups with SK and they all threw like garbage I strung up wax mesh and it threw like a dime right away what was I doing wrong uh, string king has a slightly different diamond size um, I'm not gonna doubt your stringing ability but it's a different animal I would say and just depending on how you string it, that's just how it is. Also, three straights can create issues because it can hook off the bottom shooter. So you need to keep that in mind. Um, yeah, if you... Kinda, yeah, that's just... I can't really get mad at you about it, but I also can't get mad at shrinking about it. Um, I'm sorry that that happened for you, but you shouldn't be having that issue. Shrinking when it's strung correctly is superior. Um, which mesh do I like better? Epic or String King? I like 1x the most. Um, String King and I are talking about uh, philosophical approaches about mesh <laughs> with uh, the first question. Um, and also talking about doing a QA and a with and maybe including me, I don't know. Sorry, I'm just going down the line. Um, does it hold up in the rain well? Yes, it's actually waterproof, unlike wax meshes. So yeah, it holds up in the, uh, the rain well. On top of that, um, it's going to be the same in the rain. The only thing that's going to affect it is the water on the outside of the mesh. The mesh isn't going to change. It's just the water getting on the ball and the mesh and slipping. So that's not the actual mesh. That's just the surface. So yeah, yeah, it's great. Um, it holds up in the rain extremely well. Uh, definitely try it out. Uh, I've been using soft mesh for about a year now. I'm making the switch. What should I switch to? If you're using soft mesh, uh, switch to 1S. Um, does meatloaf stain the mesh? Yes, I would imagine it does. Uh, do you have a pattern for a high stallion with 1S? Don't ask me for patterns. Um, thanks for listening to your followers. Is this uh, String King going to do a collaboration in this video? I emailed them and they helped me with some of the questions. I will actually be reading an email after this from uh, Jeff and we will uh, discuss what I, our connection, so like my connection to String King as well as answer a few questions about OG, uh, SK. What's the, difference to, uh, what's the difference between 1S and 1X and how much does each piece of mesh cost? Uh, the hardness is the main difference, um, I discussed this earlier, uh, and they both cost $20. Um, I saw a pic about you being one of the first to use an absolutely love shrinking mesh. Could you tell us more in depth how they discovered you and your relationship with shrinking? I actually really like this question. Thank you so much for asking this. So, um, I will be talking about my relationship with them currently in a little bit. Um, how they discovered me, or how I discovered them, it kind of, alright. So what happened was, um, when I had my, well I still have it, I was on my personal account, uh, when I was doing my stringings and stuff at first, and they followed me, actually. String King, uh, when they first started, they went and they followed about 800 people, I think. They followed a bunch of people uh, to get a few followers, and I was one of them. And um, I started seeing their stuff, and I ended up uh, winning a giveaway. So I won a giveaway, and then I used that mesh to then put, I put it into my hammer. That's what I used last year, actually, around this, not this time, but at the beginning of summer, which is like, last month, so June, the beginning of June, I got my first piece of um, String King 1X, or the original String King. I strung it up in a superpower on the way to a rafting trip for my school. I didn't really like it, but that was because of the, uh, the superpower being warped. So then I switched it over to a hammer. I tried it out, I loved it, and then I actually won a contest with that for String King, because I used to do contests every single week. So I got more mesh, and then I kept winning contests and getting a ton of it, and then I ended up um, buying from them. I ended up getting uh, in contact with them. I talked to them a lot. We bounced ideas off each other. And then I met them at LaxCon this year. Um, I talked to Jeff. He and I, are uh, we talk a lot. And um, we ended up deciding to e uh, email each other a lot. I got his business card and stuff. And we ended up, uh, I guess you could say, yeah. I, we ended up pretty much, I ended up partnering with them and being able to uh, buy a lot of mesh. So, yeah, that's pretty much my, uh, I guess that kind of covers my relationship with them. But that's also how we met. So just over time, I 
I won one of their giveaways. I found them through them following me. Um, I just fell in love with their product, and I've been with it since. All right. Um, next question. All right. Yeah, actually, I, there. Yep, next question. Uh, one S or one X for face-offs. I've been using ECM Black, and it hasn't really broken in too well. I would suggest one S. It breaks in to be extremely soft, and you'll be able to, uh, your pocket will go back to shape once the ball is flipped into it. Um, it's about the ECM Black. ECM Black doesn't really break in. It stays the same, um, but in a bad way. It's also a little bit too hard, and I would, I am actually extremely surprised that you're using ECM Black for face-offs. So I really don't suggest ECM Black, if you guys can't tell. Um, what I think that they need to do if they really want to still uh, survive is take um, ECM Black, make it softer, so make it closer to the original. So make pretty much the original, but with less wax, if that makes sense. That's the only reason that I would ever use it. Uh, Otter Mesh, worth, worth the price? Uh, yes, I would say that the piece is going to last you a while and it will make your stick lighter, you'll be able to feel the ball, you'll be consistent with it, and you'll be able to perform at a high level. Um, and consistency uh, compared to the other meshes, consistency ends up uh, with how all these meshes are extremely consistent, it ends up coming to the stringing, it will be very consistent if strung correctly and the mesh itself will lend itself to that. Um, is it true that 1x and 1S will rip if a bottom shooting string is not used. Um, I actually, on my first look at U, did not put a soft bottom string. It has not torn. I take some pretty hard passes from people, but it has not torn. Um, but I have a few friends that tore through it before I started using the soft bottom string. I really suggest it. Um, I, yeah, use it so that it doesn't rip. Um, it might rip if you don't, but I haven't had that problem, personally. My customers have, not me. So yes, um, it will rip because of the shock absorption, I believe. Something like that. But anyway, just use the bottom string. Honestly, it's not that big of a deal. Like, please. Um, value of Otter Mesh. Um, is it actually two times the quality of SK because of the prices? Because of the prices. Um, you need to start understanding that things are priced at a value such as that because of the materials used, as well as the time that goes into making them. Uh, Otter is very high quality. It also has the benefits of being lighter than any other mesh available. Um, it's not necessarily two times the uh, as worth SK, if that makes sense. It's not two times better because it's more expensive. You could go and buy something for $30, say like a shirt, and it could be as nice as a $100 shirt. But anyway, it caters to people for certain reasons, and you need to understand that. Um, yeah, don't... Just because something's two times more expensive doesn't mean it's... That's silly. Um, what's your favorite 1X, uh, and what do you recommend to any, everyone? Um, 1S is generally uh, what most people use. I like 1X personally, so I try to re recommend it to people. Um, is Otter Mesh worth $40 compared to $20 for regular String King? I would say yes. Uh, which String King Mesh is closest to Otter Mesh? Uh, soft or 1S is a 2, Otter is a 3, uh, 1X is a 5 that breaks into a 4. And then, I mean, 1S breaks into be a 1, and I guess Otter breaks into be a 2. But they're very similar, just 1S and 1X, okay? Um, what is OG string king like? It's a little bit harder. They don't make it anymore because they felt that they needed to make a softer one because it would cater to more people. So they made the 1X and then the 1S, which is even softer. But they made 1X because it was slightly softer because they thought that that would be better because it would have the better feel, but it would still have the consistency. Um, which uh, current string king mesh is most similar to OG? Uh, 1X, it's only a little bit softer. Um, it's just a different resin. That's how it is with uh, 1S and 1X on OG. Um, I think that you have some discount with string king. How does that discount work and what is it? Um, that's business. I'm not going to tell everyone that. That's kind of a silly question. Um, all you need to know is that I buy a lot of it and there are benefits for buying a lot of it but don't just try to get a lot of it for free okay um, does it annoy you when people ask a lot of questions uh, not when they ask a lot of questions just when they ask poor questions or personal questions 
Sorry. Um, interested in Otter? Is it worth the money? I would try it out. If you don't like it, you still have a really light piece of mesh, and you could probably find a use for it. Um, what is your favorite small mesh company? Um, that's not really pertaining to String King. Um, I haven't tried out Seminole or uh, A Team Strings mesh. I haven't tried out either of them, but I'd imagine I'll like them. Um, probably the smallest company mesh that I've ever used. <sighs> I'm not sure about that. I don't really use wax meshes. I've kind of been pulled away from them and I don't want to go back because I think they're silly. Um, so I don't have an answer. Sorry. Uh, I know you're a shrinking guy. What's your favorite uh, waxed mesh? I don't know. Um, I used Throne for a little bit. Throne's cool. Um, I think they have some pretty crazy color designs which I like. Oh! Uh, Pocket Power. I like Pocket Power the most. And he's a small company. Yeah, there you go. Answer to the last one and this one. Um, I've strung a lot of all three. Definitely the best mesh in the game. Yeah, it is. Um, here's a question though. I use cross lace since I saw that everyone had a problem with the mesh ripping. So is that better than sidewall since it's smoother and softer? He said only smoother, but yeah, it's softer. Um, yes, it's better, but you should use the bottom string because that's what suggested and it will cause it to tear or cause it to not tear. So just because how it absorbs it. So yeah, what is the strongest, most stiffest uh, wax mesh you've used? Um, maybe ECM Black. I just don't suggest it. Just don't. Please don't ask about wax meshes. They're silly. Um, is shrinking better than ECD? In my opinion, yes, it's significantly better. ECDs just come to a point where it's just dying down, and people need to understand it, including the fanboys. The fanboys are the worst. Um, just try shrinking. It's so much better. Um, so yes, shrinking is better than ECD, not only in my opinion, but I have everything supporting it. Um, do you prefer 1X or 1S? Uh, 1X, which performs better in my opinion, 1X. Um, do you do pr uh, traditional? Um, I've tried it, I'm not very good at it, but I would practice it and get better at it if you guys really want. Um... Can you do a comparison of Money Mesh and Shrinking on YouTube? Um, Money Mesh, I've only dealt with it a few times. It's rough, um, like texture-wise. Um, it becomes soft. I'd imagine it's pretty consistent. I think it's waterproof or water-resistant. I think it's water-resistant because it's slightly waxed, I think. I'm not completely sure about that. Um, original Shrinking is 1X. The resin's different, but other than that, yeah, pretty much, you're right. Um, uh, comparisons of Throne ECM and Money Mesh. Um, I like Throne more than ECM, but I don't know uh, where I would put Money Mesh. Um, I don't know. I like Money Mesh. It's interesting. Uh, can I buy some of that mesh? I actually, when I get my uh, website put together, will offer you guys the ability to buy my mesh or buy shrinking. Um, oh, what do you use in your videos when you make the channel? Is it a bat or something? Yes, it's a bat. I think it's downstairs. Um, I played, oh no, it's right here. Uh, let me grab it. So when I was little, like when I was really little, um, I think I was like six, seven or something, I uh, played baseball because that's, I didn't know better, but, um, also I was uh, scared, so I didn't play lacrosse because I would get hit. Yeah, I know, that's pretty pathetic. Um, so it's a baseball bat. It's this little baseball bat, like really little, and um, I had it when I was little. You can see I've used it a lot, and um, I've just had it lying around, and my local lacrosse store actually suggested that I use it to pound my pockets. So what I do is I take a towel, put it on the end, put a rubber band around it, or like four, and really like make it tight, and I pound the pocket on it. It ends up breaking it in very nicely, breaks in the channel so it doesn't have a legal hold, and it makes a nice pocket. Or it doesn't make a nice pocket, it breaks in a nice pocket, so I use the baseball bat. Um, if you want to judge me, I don't care at all. Um, compare to ECM, Throne, and Money Mesh, I kind of just did. Um, it's actually waterproof. Uh, it's more consistent. Uh, the guys are nicer. 
Um, they're all more on top of things, and yeah, that's it. Also, someone then stands up for me and tells me that it's not, uh, yeah, it's, yeah, all right. Um, sorry about that. Uh, some kind of softness test comparison of the three. I think I did that correctly. Here, I'll um, do a ball drop on uh, Otter. Here, I'll, I'll go from softest to hardest. So here's um, 1S. So it hit the side wall. My bad. Um, there you go. Goes all the way down. Here is Otter. goes all the way down pretty much. I mean it is really soft, it's really similar, no doubt. Um, and then here's 1x, so this is not going to go down that much. Um, yeah, see? But when it breaks in, it uh, does that a lot easier. So I like 1x a lot, don't get me wrong. Um, yeah, someone saying I'm not the end all of mesh comparisons responding to someone I agree um, you guys need to try to measure yourself and form your own opinion but understand that it's extremely quality because I wouldn't go with it if it wasn't um, and I gave my comparison of them and everything um, someone says okay how much sidewall string do I need like 150 feet I don't know what he's talking about so um, yeah then Owen uh, or Kit uh, comes in and says 1S all the way. Yeah, 1S is nice. Uh, the extra feel is nice. Um, do a video of your baseball bat pounder um, or whatever it is. I just talked about it. That would be a really silly full video. Um, someone's talking about a giveaway, deleting that comment. Um, so what's the difference between kinetic energy and how is it different from a covalent bond and an endothermic reaction? Um, that's one of my friends from school. We studied a lot together. Um, and then actually the owner of String King uh, responds, uh, kinetic energy is the energy of an object uh, that is associated with its movement. Covalent bond is when atoms share an electron pair. Endothermic uh, is when a chemical reaction gives up or takes in energy. It's uh, when it takes it in. Um, yeah, all right, that's it, guys. So <laughs> that's all the questions. Um, if you guys have any more, be sure to comment below, and I will try to respond to them the best that I can. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I don't really have anything else to, uh, to really talk about. Um, I'll be putting out a few more videos. I just wanted a little break from making videos and uh, posting on Instagram. Hope you guys understand. Um, it's just it gets a little tiring when you have to put up with the... Uh, I'm not going to call you... Yeah, it gets a little bothering when you have to put up with people uh, being really silly all the time. So I decided to take a little break, but um, I'm feeling good. So I think I'm going to put out some stuff. Uh, I think I'll do a weapon of choice video next. Just need to get um, the newest head worked out and make sure that I really want to use it as my uh, gamer. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to comment below. Uh, like the video. Uh, favorite it. Uh, share it. Uh, subscribe. Be sure to uh, let me know what you want to see in the future, um, but don't force it on me. Say could you, don't say do. Um, do something. Yeah, so don't force anything on me because that just makes me not want to do videos. Just letting you guys know that. Um, remember that I'm not going to give out patterns, but I could do a theory video if you guys really want. And um, yeah, until uh, next time, uh, take it easy, have a nice night, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks so much for watching.